the decisions you make actually matter. When the alarm goes off in the morning, do you get up? Or do you hit the snooze and sleep more? When it's time to work out, do you get it done? Or make excuses to skip it? When you're supposed to do the work you know you need to do, do you do it? Or do you let it slide and regret it later? Every decision you make every single day matters. The easy choice makes life hard. The hard choice makes life easy. You must work harder. You must be willing to do the right things in order to have a life that will actually make you feel fulfilled in the long run. I don't know what your future is, but if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. But during those struggles, we often consider quitting. Processing information becomes really hard in the middle of feeling that pain. The pain overwhelms, stopping rational thinking. Your brain resorts to fight or flight. So when you give up, your mind signals it's done, limiting its expansion. No growth occurs when you surrender. Toughness cannot be found in a comfortable setting. You must immerse yourself in an unfamiliar, disordered state where you struggle and feel overwhelmed. Life becomes like drowning. The cold becomes unbearable. The desire to return home intensifies. In that crucial moment, you must defy those instincts saying, you know what? No, f that. I'll find a way to adapt. I'll find a way to overcome this. When you do that, you're regaining control of your mind, restoring a proper perspective, reaffirming your desire to be there in the first place. These pivotal moments will happen constantly. You must learn to master them. Because if you succumb to any of these moments, you won't become whatever the hell you aspire to be. When you declare, this fucking sucks, I'm suffering, I'm miserable, I feel broken, but I'm not leaving, your mind realizes you're fully committed. So it expands, it grows, and it strives to overcome this damn thing. It realizes that we have to figure this fucking thing out. Once you get to that point, you will find the strength to pull it out, no matter what. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter if I'm tired. It doesn't matter if I'm sore. It doesn't matter whatever the fuck is going on with me. Because no matter what, I'm gonna go fucking execute. See, in competition, everybody's a fucking dog. Don't worry about yourself when you fucking get tired. Worry about what the competition's thinking about. Because they're looking for that chink in the armor. They're looking for that one slight thing that you did that shows them that you're fucking being a bitch. You're tired, you're exhausted. Maybe you didn't put all the fucking work into your craft. They're looking for it. Don't make them find it. It's a lonely journey. You're isolated. Those who used to keep pace with you will fall off. They'll see where their world ends and yours begin. Your ability to suffer, endure. Our work must be greater. You must be willing to extend yourself to the limit with no guarantee of success. Every day, you must ask yourself, did I do enough? It's not gonna be easy, and you have to be patient, and you have to put in the fucking time. You talk to me about three months, how you fucking worked your ass off for three months and it wasn't recognized. That ain't nothing. It takes real fucking time and real commitment, and it takes that every single day. It takes a conscious effort to be more valuable, to be better than the next guy every single day, and that shit is not easy. When you're at 1% and you keep pushing and you go beyond having 1%, you are going to start to realize how much mental comes into play, how much success in anything comes into your ability to expend effort when energy just isn't there. I need you to go harder than you've ever gone before. I need you to be more dedicated than you've ever been before. I need you to be more committed than you've ever been before. I need you to tap into a level of sacrifice that you've never tapped into before. That's why you meet some people, they just won't be denied. Mentality. That's why you meet some people, you gotta take their life before you take their drive. Mentality. What makes successful people successful is what they do when they don't feel like it. It's what you do when you don't feel like going to the gym and you're dragging ass and you would rather eat a piece of dog shit than go to the gym. It's what you do when you show up to work and you want to burn the motherfucker down. The reason I'm successful is because I execute whether I have the fucking fire or whether I don't have the fucking fire. And you guys have got to start cultivating 
the ability to have discipline. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference. Those are the things that make up success and that's discipline. You have to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know it needs to be fucking done. Many of you will not be successful because you've got this giant goal and no steps to go with it. You're just in your mind like, this is my year. How many steps? I don't know. What is it going to take for you to do it? I don't know. I just know this is my year. Can I be real with you? If you can't measure it, it ain't real. I had to give something up to go up. What do you give up? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You getting to watch TV and not make money and still survive. What do you sacrifice? The reason why you broke is because you're getting a reward and you ain't working. Having esteem for yourself only occurs when you put yourself on the line and you do something that's incredibly difficult on a regular basis. That's where pride comes from, something that's earned. So there are people who want stuff, but you kind of want it. I get sick and tired of people telling me how bad they want it, yet their actions don't back up that statement. The obsession is wanting something so bad that I go to bed with I wake up to it, I make whatever sacrifice, I grind, I can't live without it. If you're going to get anything, you will have to pay the price. There is a price tag to greatness. You will have to work for every single thing you get, and you got to work every single day. You gotta wake up every day and work. Everybody wants to wait and put off the things they truly want in their lives for tomorrow, the mystical place where 99% of dreams go to die. The only time you have is right now. And if you're not obsessed every single second of every single day with achieving your goals, you're never gonna fucking achieve them. It takes obsessive, compulsive, ridiculous amounts of effort. You better dedicate every fucking second of every day, of every week, of every fucking year for a lot of fucking years in a row if you ever want to get these kind of goals. Don't be somebody who talks shit. Be somebody who does shit. I don't need a bear to chase me to get up in the morning. I don't sleep in. If I slept in, it's because I worked so hard the day before that I was tired. What do you need to motivate you? Are you not enough? Is your potential not enough? Is your greatness not enough? You're putting in work, and just because you can't see the results, you want to quit or give up. I ain't never quit. I ain't never give up. I ain't never give in. I just kept grinding. If you keep going, you're going to break through. The only people that don't break through are the people who scoreboard watching. Wake up every single day, and if the opportunity to work out is there, work out. If the opportunity is there to read, read. But whatever you do, wake up every single day and know that you should work as if everything depends on you and do whatever it takes. Let's go, stop playing with it. Stop telling me I don't got time. Make it work, fix it. Let's go, you gotta go all in. If you want things to get better, you gotta get better. If you want things to change, you gotta change. But you gotta do it deliberately and consciously. You've got to constantly find a way to feed that mind, something that's got strategy in it. Knowledge is not power. Execution trumps knowledge every day of the week. Turn your shoulds into musts. Because everybody's got a list of shoulds, don't they? You want to create results, and those results come when you raise your standard. you got to turn the shoulds into musts. Discomfort is your friend, because discomfort may move you to actually go for the life you deserve. You have a chance to control your destiny. Come on, let's go. Take ownership. What am I going to do about it? And mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mountain. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of going up against the number one team. I get a kick out of going into the sixth, seventh week. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. I don't know how much longer I got, so I got to do it while I can. I might not be able to do this at 65, 75, but I can do it now. You will never regret making a sacrifice, ever. You cannot cheat success. You got to work for it. You got to breathe it. You got to sleep it. You got to eat it. You got to put forth 120%. When you go out there, I need you to have that dog. When you get out there, I need you kill to be killed when you get out there. When you get out there, whatever you can get, go get it. Because they going to get it before you get it. And they ain't going to give it to you. So you go out there and get what's yours. Because there's somebody out there who wants your spot. You're not the only one trying to go to Yale. You're not the only one trying to go to Harvard. You're not the only one trying to go to the 
NBA. You're not the only one trying to go to the NFL. And so you got to embody excellence. It only take one extra push-up. It only take one extra mile. It only take one extra grade. It only takes one extra effort. It only takes one extra something to get you to where you're trying to get to. Keep your dreams phenomenal. Keep your vision phenomenal. And now I need you to get your weight up. I need you to get your schedule up. I need you to get your life up. I need you to get your action up. I need you to get to a place that every single thing that you do is phenomenal so that the life you want to live, you can actually live that life.